When you think of electric cars, you probably think of Tesla and its fleet of premium all-electric vehicles. While Tesla is doubtlessly the most prominent OEM leading the modern waves of non-fossil fuel automotive engineering, there are many new and exciting companies competing for a place in the market. One company that has greatly distinguished itself from the pack thus far is Neocar, a Chinese manufacturer with lofty goals and quite an ambitious picture of the car of the future. With competitive offerings in similar categories and a clear, innovative picture of the future, will Neocar come to dominate Tesla's corner of the market? Neocar was founded in 2014, its first car making a debut the same day the company was launched. The company was founded by William Lee, an important player and chairperson of both Bit Auto Holdings Limited a Chinese services provider which mainly facilitates transactions in the automotive industry, and Nextev, a Formula E all-electric race team based out of the UK. Nextev was later renamed NEO 333FE after the car company. NEO's first car was named the NEO EP9 sports car. The EP9 is an absolute powerhouse hiding inside a luxury vehicle. The EP9 ranges from all-wheel drive to individual wheel drive because each individual tire on the sports car has its own individual motor and transmission. The car is able to output 355 horsepower or 250 kilowatts to each wheel individually either all at once or at one time. This is overseen by onboard NEO software, specifically an advanced torque vectoring system that distributes power to each of the tires as needed. The EP9's battery is comparable in range to Tesla batteries. However, the NEO battery must be removed before being charged. The all-carbon fiber constructed car is made to switch between track and road with ease, able to achieve top speeds of 217 miles per hour, making the jump from a full stop to 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds and 186 miles per hour in 15.9 seconds. While only nine of these cars have been produced, NEO says another 10 will soon be put up for sale to the general public at two and a half million pounds each. At that price, it's fairly obvious that the EP9 was never meant to actually sell. Instead, the crazily overpowered car was likely meant to impress potential investors at the technological feats of the young company. On that front, the EP9 succeeded wildly. Immediately after unveiling the all-electric racer, NEO was flooded with investment money from the likes of Tencent, owner of WeChat, Temasek, Beidou, Sequoia, Lenovo, and TPG. NEO launched out of the gate with its first investment round growing rapidly and expanding into the manufacturer of more practical, consumer-level cars. Immediately following the EP9, NEO brought the ES8 to the market, an all-electric SUV that would be refreshed in 2021. This was followed by a whole lineup of electric cars, from small-budget cars to family-friendly SUVs, debuting a car each year from 2018 to 2021. 2019 saw the release of the ES6, a massive five-door SUV equipped with the same swappable battery as the ES8. Following up in 2020, NEO released EC6, another five-door battery-powered SUV. In 2021, they're projected to release their ET5 and ET7, two compact cars offering luxurious and affordable entry into the electric car market. 2022 will bring an expanded market for NEO with its first electric minivan and a return to its classic SUV frame. The most important project NEO has in development has no official release date and is the reason this company may eventually come to surpass the likes of Tesla and more traditional car manufacturers. It's called the NEO EVE, and it may just change the way the world thinks about cars. From the beginning, EVE was developed around the core ideal of the future is driven by artificial intelligence. The onboard digital companion, Nomi, 
will eventually function as your basic Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant digital helper centered around two interaction points in the front and back of the car, presumably to function like home smart speakers, much like an Echo Dot or a Google Home. However, Nomi does much more than your average speech-activated robot. Nomi is, in a sense, the brain of the Eve car, packing all its self-driving smarts into the digital assistant. Eventually, Nomi will be able to pilot the Eve through city streets while the passengers kick back and relax in style. Nomi will even be able to autonomously retrieve the car for users, piloting itself out of a parking garage, for instance, meeting the driver at the curb. Though drivers will be able to take over if they want, ideally, passengers in the EVE won't need to spend much time actually driving. With this in mind, the EVE interior design team took great care to design a hybrid living space within the interior of the EVE, more like a living room than a car. There are six seats in total available in the EVE two up front in the traditional passenger and driver positions. Behind the front seats in what the EVE team terms the living area, there are four seats arranged to face each other, two centered on a fold-out table, much like an airline food tray, a fold-down seat, and a seat that extends into a nearly full-length bed. The front seats, however, are really the place to be, especially for those who love exploration or exciting road trips. The front seats are treated to an expansive panoramic view, aided by the near completely glass front of the car. But this is the car of the future. This window is no average window. Instead, it's an augmented reality panel that will highlight places of interest and landmarks when passing nearby and provide live information to passengers. This feature extends to the sunroof, which at night is able to identify and trace constellations all in real time. Both the sunroof and the windshield will dim and brighten at the passenger's demand, ranging from completely clear to black. The EVE team also says the display windshield will be capable of displaying media entertainment and even adjust to passengers' moods. How the later feature will work is still rather vague. The EVE will supposedly be a real team player, too, featuring specialized light strips running the entire length of the vehicle to signal other vehicles and pedestrians through color-coded directional light signals. The EVE will also be able to communicate electronically with other smart cars, letting them know its position and next moves on the road, allowing others to plan accordingly. The car will also have advanced collision detection to help avoid less tech-enabled automotive vehicles. Current reports suggest the Neo Eve won't make an appearance in its final form until the Chinese company has established a presence in the United States, possibly speaking to the desire of the startup to compete head-to-head -head with Tesla. If Neo manages to bring all the features promised by Eve to market in a semi-affordable car, they may just come out of that head-to-head -head struggle on top. There's always the possibility that NEO could run into problems bringing products to the US. One of their most notable investors, Tencent, has been linked to the Chinese state. In 2019, the US even attempted to ban their platform WeChat for supposedly spying on users of the Chinese Communist Party. Especially with Eve's advanced and potentially privacy-compromising features like mood detection and Nomi voice activation, there's every possibility the US will attempt to ban the company from entering the domestic consumer market stateside. The question for NEO isn't whether its products are good, but instead whether the company itself can last long enough to reach market success. You could call NEO's starting strategy, that is, coming out of the gate with a high-tech, ultra-expensive race car, a mistake. Currently, NEO loses money for each car it makes. If the company can hit a certain level of market saturation, it may be able to balance these costs out, but that appears still to be a ways off. Whatever the outcome of NEO's losses long term, it seems with NEO's steps to move into the US market and Tesla's steps to move into the Chinese market, the two electric car companies' paths are bound to intersect soon. Whether you would consider buying a potentially revolutionary NEO Eve or stick by the tried and true Tesla, one thing seems abundantly clear. All electric vehicles 
are our future.